Hello, my beloved uh, friends, um, subscribers. Welcome back to my channel, Philippine Nurse with Ars Home. Um, I hope you have already sub subscribed and continue watching my videos. And it's really making me happy. My numbers are going up, really going up. So I'm, I'm very proud of that. And I'm hearing a lot of comments, positive comments to improve my channel. And I'm working on that. I'm really working. The cover page, I have done a lot of that already. I'm working very hard. My artistic uh, talent really helped me with that. Um, except for the uh, background music, so I cannot tune that down, really. Because uh, I really don't like very much of karaoke. But anyway, it runs in my blood, so I have to kind of tune that down. Anyway... Um, today's topic is about Filipina going blonde. I am the one, okay? I am going blonde. Um, the blonde are supposed to be here in America. It's supposed to be more fun, but um, it can be used as stereotyping uh, women being dumb you know <laughs> so don't worry you know don't worry i am a brunette i am a brunette but a co-worker of mine one time called me dane you are a filipino blonde and i just kind of take that and not seriously and i was laughing about it i said i think so i'm going blonde but for the past two days i've convinced myself i think I am going blonde, really going blonde, but I have some excuses. I really do have some excuses. For the past many years, many, many, many years, life is not that complicated, right? We did not even have any telephone. We don't have a lot of machine for us to do a simple task. But now we have telephones, we have we have phones, we have... Uh, access to everything we walk we walk everywhere and we have our telephones you know and machines are all over the place for you to be able to do your task i even saw some a lot of this um, in the hospital actually doctors nurses and all the other workers would be in the hallway i observed that in the hallway and they would be all texting texting and texting i don't know how they find their way that they would not bump into each other and i'm one of them i don't understand but anyway this time i'm going blonde because of that stupid i'm sorry machines or gadgets that is in my body you know and um past two days i had convinced myself i'm 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 doing that yesterday we ate in a restaurant on our way back out my husband, I was wondering, I was doing my, my thing, you know, my telephone. My husband went the other way and then he quit. And then I was going this way. And I was convinced that the door is that way. And he said, whoa, then whoa, he stopped me. And I said, why in the world he's stopping me? He's always correcting me. Come to find out I was about to bump onto the, the window because I saw the joints like that, right? I thought that was the doorway. Can you imagine how stupid that was? Anyway, I was embarrassed, but anyway, I just kind of laugh about that. And today, this is what happened. I went for my lab test. And after that, I went out to the parking lot. Turned on my remote, remote control. And I was still doing my thing. And then, something click you know the door of the car click i opened that thing and i said whoa i said the place mat i said the the the, the floor mat my husband again throw away my beautiful floor mat a floor mat i said what in the world my husband is doing wait a minute this cannot be so i look at the car it's a camera it's my the same as my Camry the same year the same model the same I said oh lord 
This is not even my car. I would have been in deep trouble. Okay? Because that was not mine. So instead, I was looking around. I was looking around. Where is my car? Oh, Lord. That fellow might have taken my car. I was thinking like that already. I said, where is my car? It took me a while there. It took me a while. Thinking. I did not even check that my car was just right on my face next to that other car. Anyway, I said, oh my God, I was really going blunt. I said, I think I am really affected by this, you know. But anyway, I can, I can really understand why old people, old people having the difficulty in this kind of world. Can you imagine having to memorize everything um, about how to operate machine? Today at the doctor's office, you have to have a card right for you to be able to get in before you get to the uh, to the uh, lady the receptionist you have to put your card there and you have to do some typing and so on and so forth to get through her and this poor lady she's probably about 85 years old she said ma'am I said I don't know but I cannot do this I said I'm gonna I'm gonna help you so I help her through that process and she said, ma'am, I'm getting old. I really feel old in this kind of world. I'm, I, I'm just at a loss. I said to my husband the other day, I said, man, we're gonna get old here. We're gonna be having that kind of issue that a lot, there's a lot of technology that's supposed to help us out um, function in this world effectively, but really for the people who are kind of mentally, a little bit mentally retarded and mentally challenged and people who are old, who are not exposed to the present technology, they would have the most difficulty to even adjust. In a way, this is the kind of thought that I that just get into my head. And it is really your fault because you know what I was thinking that time when I was looking for my car? I was thinking about what's the next topic that I can share with you that is you know that is uh really going on in this world you know but i want to be effective with my um uh, anyway something like videos informative but anyway it's your fault why i'm becoming blunt but anyway it's really going gray right here but I tell you that i would die this maybe next week and i will let you see what I have here, it's going to be brown, okay? Not blonde, brown. Thank you. Have a good day now. Bye-bye.